We have a short talk tonight by uh, Dr. Kyle Johnson from King's College on South Park, uh, his provocative... Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can everybody who wants to hear me hear me? Good? Okay. I'll try to speak loudly. I don't have a PA system or anything like that. Uh, and for all my students who are here for extra credit, be sure to catch up with me afterwards or after the talk and I'll make sure that you know what you need to do to actually get credit for it. Okay. Um, so, the, the paper, like the show, and like the book, is uh, for mature audiences only, so there will be a few swear words here and there, uh, but it's all in the spirit of good fun, uh, and also in light of what South Park is like, so, but it's, it's all, it's all, it's, it's usually mentioned, not used, so it should be, it should be fine. Um, so, the talk is entitled South Park, Inexcusable or Indispensable, and of course, it's in promotion of the book South Park and Philosophy. Uh, which is published through Blackwell. Actually, Dr. Irwin here is the series editor. There's an entire series of these books uh, that comes out through Blackwell. South Park is the first one. We've got one coming out on The Office. We've got another one coming out on Family Guy. We've got another one coming out on Lost, 24. Uh, Battlestar Galactica is in the works. Any other ones that I'm missing? That's good. Got quite a few coming out. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, and they all they all use uh, the pop culture reference as kind of a, a springboard to talk about philosophy just like this talk does today. Uh, so without further ado, let me go ahead and start. I will try to be a, I will be reading the paper, but hopefully it won't seem like I'm actually reading it. Um, as we all probably know, South Park was created and written uh, by Matt Stone and Trey Parker. It is a mainstream adult cartoon show in the vein of The Simpsons and Family Guy on Comedy Central. But as edgy as other mainstream, uh, mainstream adult cartoons might be, South Park is much edgier. <coughs> It's also more talkative, more topical, more provocative, racier, it's more outrageous, it's more obscene, it's more blasphemous, and straight up, it's also funnier. Shortly, we'll talk about why it has these properties, but as most of us here more than likely know, the fact that it has these properties has encouraged many to raise moral objections to South Park. Tom Cruise and the Catholic Church have demanded that certain episodes never be repeated, and some have even gone so far as to, to demand that Comedy Central take South Park off the air entirely. Clearly, such people think that South Park is completely inexcusable. Now, the subtitle I chose for the talk, Inexcusable or Indispensable, is actually intended to communicate that I want to address two issues. The first is whether our watching in Comedy Central's airing of South Park is morally permissible. Are they doing something morally wrong by doing it, or are doing something morally wrong by watching it? And second, whether our watching in Comedy Central's airing of South Park is morally obligatory. Or we've got to do it, we're morally obliged to do it. But the title actually communicates a false dichotomy. It may be that watching and airing South Park is perfectly excusable, but it's also morally permissible to dispense with either. But what I will argue is that watching and airing South Park is not only morally permissible, but South Park helps us, and in fact society itself, fulfill its own moral obligations. And I will do so with the help of the first book in Blackwell's Pop Culture and Philosophy series, now available at your local Barnes & Noble, Pop Culture and Philosophy. 